Well, today I want to tell you guys um, not just the story behind the picture, but kind of also my testimony behind the picture. But in order to do that, I have to give you some background. So I guess I'll start from the beginning. About three weeks ago, I was able to help out with a youth event at Adventure Church. And to plan the youth event, I was given the job of a sage, which is to collect verses and curriculum teaching material to teach at the event. And this is kind of my first time doing it. I'm not really a big teacher, but I know that's one of my God-given gifts. The whole purpose was the event was to kind of teach, to present yourselves eagerly and shamelessly to God as one he has approved who correctly handles the word of truth. So as soon as I heard these words, images started popping in my head of like how I could represent in my part of the teaching through art, how could I represent these three stages? Presenting yourself, being shamelessly approved, and correctly handling the word of truth. So I decided to do a live art painting. It, it was kind of scary because I had never done something that big. So it was a whole new experience for me. But as I was planning it, I had an idea of a, a man presenting themselves before the Lord, holding his heart up, and presenting himself for God's use. But the way I pictured it was that he's presenting the good and the bad of his life. He, he's presenting his whole heart, his whole being, and not just the good that he wants God to use. So that was the first step in presenting yourself eagerly. The second step, which was shamelessly approved, we are approved by God. All we have to do is accept His gift of forgiveness. We don't have to be ashamed of our sin because God has already forgiven it. So the, th the second part of the painting was God's hand reaching down from heaven and blood dripping off His hand from the scars and His hand from the cross and dripping down onto the person's heart and the way it dripped down, it would drip down and cover up the negative characteristics of the heart, the evil part of the heart. And third, the correctly handling the word of truth is that once we present ourselves eagerly and we know we are not ashamed of what's in our heart and God has cleansed us from everything that is evil in our heart, we are given God's word, truth, to fight it. And I represented the Bible truth as a sword, because that's what it's represented in, as the Bible talks about being sharper than a two-edged sword. So after we present ourselves eagerly and we are unashamed, we are given God's word, truth, to fight against lies, lies that we may believe, but God knows that aren't true. That's kind of the story behind the picture. My testimony behind it was, as I was thinking of these things and sketching out ideas and getting things ready, I was looking up YouTube videos to see if anyone's done anything like this before. And I found this guy named Eric Samuel Trim. And he has a whole ministry dedicated to live paintings and painting through ministry. And it really inspired me just to see like his passion and his calling for Christ lived out up on stage and see just how people reacted and how powerful he, his messages were. And as I was watching these, it's just like kind of like silent prayer to God, Lord, please give me the passion to be like this man, to, to live your word out and to really paint my heart out up on stage and let people know what it is I'm trying to get across. At first I didn't really know what I was asking for. God was kind of going, Garrett, do you know what you're asking for? Do you know what presenting yourself before me means? Do you know what being shamelessly approved means? And do you know what my truth is? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm on fire for you. I'm ready to do this, ready to 
spread your word and, and use my God-given gifts for you. And he's like, okay, as long as you pray for passion, passion leaves you vulnerable. I'm going to let you feel vulnerable. And just kind of after this conversation with God that I had, like instantaneously afterwards, I had like no passion or desire to do any artwork. It was kind of depressing really because being an artist and you live and breathe passion and your passion goes into your work full force, this is kind of like God just turned the off switch. He set my passion meter at zero. And it was kind of like, okay, I prayed for passion and now I have none. So how's that how's that work God? Why why are you doing this? And really for the next week and a half I didn't do any artwork, wasn't really inspired to do anything. I kind of felt distant from God and like he couldn't hear me or I couldn't hear him. Like there was kind of a wall between us. And I started believing that God couldn't hear me and that he just kind of didn't really care how I did this painting and didn't really care where it went. And that I was kind of going in my own direction. Was it really my calling to go do this? And I was kind of doubting myself and ready to kind of give up on the whole thing. As we were getting closer and closer to the event and finally the day came, I was still the same, passion's kind of zero. And it wasn't until the night of the event that I got up on stage, had everything set up. I was actually staring at the blank canvas up and everyone's behind me waiting for me to paint it. And all of a sudden God's like, Garrett, these last few, th this last week, I have let you be bombarded by the liar. I have let you fight battles. I have let you see what it means to believe lies and be distant from me. And it was, it was kind of one of those awe moments that you never get over. Everyone's behind me worshiping and I'm just up on stage and I can't hear a word. I'm just completely taken over. And as I was up there, he's like, okay, you bleed. I don't want you to just paint this picture to represent this message. I want you to paint your testimony. I want you to paint yourself, presenting yourself in your routine. I want you to paint your heart on that canvas. I want you to paint your lies and your characters on that canvas. And it was kind of like, wow, is all I could say. I was up there doing my own little skip joy and dancing around in my heart and just kind of shaking all over. God just showed me that he didn't want my passion to be in the painting. He wanted me to be a tool to channel his passion. I was just honored to actually be, feel like a tool in Christ's hand, like I was being used for his purpose. And now, after it was all done, it was like being refreshed, knowing that even if I do things and plan things and think I'm going in God's right direction, God can still teach me that even though I was fired up for Him, He made me that much more passionate and on fire for Him through that one week of trial. He made what I was painting on the canvas true instead of just being an illustration. It was my life. Just wanted to leave you with kind of a word of encouragement that there, life is long, life is hard. There are going to be lies constantly that you will pick up and believe and Satan will try to get you to believe so that you can deter you from God's truth. But remember that we are already promised victory. All we have to do is stand strong and claim ourselves in Christ Jesus. Well, that's all for now. Bye.